South Sudan is on the brink of famine after historic floods. More than one million people are now experiencing severe food insecurity in the wake of the worst floods since the 1960s. We land in South Sudan, where we are told there is an urgent effort to get to more than a million people in desperate need because of climate. The UN trucks waiting. We head out to the World Food Program, traveling down the only road in, carrying aid from Sudan. And we're there as the last convoy makes it in from Sudan before the deadly violence breaks out to the north. Mud walls holding the water back. And then the only way to get to so many of the families here is by boat. What's happening here is staggering. Climate change making the extremes here, the drought and the floods, only more extreme. Four years in a row now of historic flooding, waters unable to recede. This is a very common sight here after four years of relentless rains. This is a tiny piece of land completely surrounded uh, by the waters here, an island in and of itself. And these are the families that have stayed behind to continue to raise their children here. But what do they feed the children here with no land to farm on anymore? We are told the water lilies. And then we see her, a mother in the distance. The haunting sounds, the coughing, the quiet splashing in the water, the determined work in stagnant, dangerous floodwaters. The water nearly to her chest, reaching down to pull out the water lilies and their bulbs. This mother reaching down so far, she is nearly underwater herself. It is what they do for their children. And this mother who proudly shows the bulbs to us. They dry them and pound them into paste to feed them to their children. It's just a stunning sight to see the cows out here in the middle of, of the water. This used to be farmland before the floods. The livestock, uh, it's impossible to know just how much has been lost uh, during these floods, but you can see uh, they're nothing but skin and bones, these cows here, uh, still searching for something to eat uh, and basically marooned out here in the middle of the water. We make it to one of the islands, the children at the water's edge, many of them with bellies that signal the emergency. The woman who greets us with a smile Hello. as we head to find the makeshift clinic here. We're told of the families on this island uh, who have come to the nutrition center uh, for help and you can see the mothers and their children here uh, they're waiting to be screened but they have all brought their children here for help this little boy among the children here a hint of a smile all of them waiting for help the mother and her baby who is just one what did you find i find that uh, this child is malnourished. malnourished we ask her how did she feed her child before today what are you able to feed your child She's saying that they only feed her water lilies. Water lilies. And we learn here that the children most at risk have been brought here to the state hospital in Bentu. Children on the brink of starvation. And we see it. The nine-year-old boy, John Chol, drinking water. And then slowly falling back down onto his bed. And we learn of the young mother, her baby, just 40 days old, a little more than a month, weighing less than four pounds. You must be relieved that your baby is doing much better. She's saying yes. Yes, she says. Her newborn son and his tiny grip, a sign of hope here. These children, they say, are the innocent victims of climate change. If you would like to help, you can go to wfpusa.org slash ABC South Sudan.